Peace and love. Zero, zero, zero on the clock. Sending you all positive energy, high vibes, success on your entrepreneurship, all love, all positivity. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You hit the like button and you leave me any comments or questions in my description below. Two, two on the clock. Today, I'm going to be speaking about the energy of tarot and the message that the ancient ancestors gave me as I asked them to give me some energy for this rising okay and I'm actually about to go work out so I was like well let me read a little energy of tarot because it's grand power and grand energy and it just helps us on our guidance to greatness and it helps us to tap into the true divinity okay rise like shining so we had the death court and we had the ace of pentacles okay now the energy i'm reading is this ace of pentacles is great energy it's the energy of a token of gratitude from the ancient ancestors okay and when we think of the ace of pentacles it's symbolic to gifts okay these gifts are going to overflow to you okay and it's going to overflow like number eight good karma infinite cash flow infinite great health infinite friends infinite creative ideas you know infinite adventures it's like you're going to be overflowing with gifts from the heavens and it's never going to stop for you and it's because you are a humble being you are a righteous being and you have been devoted to your soul purpose and also devoted to being of service to the collective consciousness okay we have the overstanding once we embody self-love okay and this hold the energy of fire 222 on a clock we think of fire energy we think of mars okay assessing that light within you okay um that aries energy is just like non-stop <laughs> very active power structure confidence and just the energy we all need to embody to actually tap into the true divinity and to release procrastination and to move forward on our creative abilities and building a strong foundation so aries energy is great because it helps us to have the understanding access that fire within you and it's connected with that mars energy when dealing with that mars energy it's about combat okay protection defending individuals you know and that masculine energy of logic architect drive passion removing procrastination and just setting forth a goal and moving forward towards it okay and not getting distracted okay but standing in status standing in power and having confidence in yourself and also confidence in your project and having faith in a higher power okay so it's great energy okay when we connect it with that fire that creativity that sun energy it's also symbolic to that leo energy that electrical energy of the sun and it has that light as well. So we want to be able to tap into unifying. Okay. Unification. Creativity. Because the sun continuously creates every day. Okay. And we want to be able to take the great intellect. The sociability skills. 444 on the clock. And express them outwards. So we can shed that beautiful light that we have within us. Because we did all the necessary work. 
we are full within ourselves. We are balanced with the mind, the body, and the spirit as a whole. So we want to release that outwards into many. Okay, so this is a beautiful energy of Ace of Pentacles. Okay, because it's dealing with your earthly materials. But not only that, it's dealing with abundance of all rewards, a token of gratitude. And the ancient ancestors, they are standing at the finish line. With their hands up like, come and get your money. <laughs> it's like, you going to be the bar, okay? You're going to have many different adventures. You're going to travel the world. You're going to have a blissful life just because you've been a righteous, a humble being. And you have been of service to the collective consciousness. And you have been dedicated and you have had that devotion and you have lit that fire within you and you continue to persevere through all the initiations okay all the different traumatic experiences so it's time for you to reap what you sow <laughs> reap what you sow let me say that again and it's like great energy okay so I'm reading the energy of the death card, okay? And, you know, we have to see death in a way of positive energy, okay? Because everything has its meaning in the universe, okay? So when we see the death card, this is the energy of death, of old ways, okay? getting rid of things that no longer serves us this could be a mindset a bad habit you know um people that no longer serves us we releasing okay and we adding things on that's essential for the growth okay and we all go through that transformation of death okay so it shows us at the death there's always life okay and if we experience transformational times in those challenging moments we get through them okay and we're about to receive our karma okay so look at death as positivity you know and we could be in a state of low vibrating energy lack limitation you know pain from how to release things that no longer serves us but we have to have the overstanding you know we don't create nothing from that state okay so we have to move out of that state and just say everything happens for a divine reason okay there's a divine purpose behind this transformational time okay this lack and limitation you know this energy of not want wanting to let go okay we have to be familiar we're going to have that energy but we have to master that energy and become one within ourselves and rise above the lack the limitations the low vibrating energy and just know that it's happening for a reason, okay? And live in a mindset of non-resisting. Don't resist it, but let it flow with the current, like the waves, like the wind, you know? And just know it's a meaning to everything. And we have to evidence the lesson that need to be learned in order to move from that state of that old way okay death to that old way open up surrender to the new things the positivity the love the passion the inspiration and the positive energy okay this death core is symbolic to transformation 
okay we can move from that state of that cocoon and i always love to use that as an example okay from that cocoon and create metamorphosis and rise like a beautiful butterfly okay it's all about transcending okay and it be hard sometimes the initiations be painful you know and if we tell ourselves it's too hard you know and not direct our conscious mind to redirect the subconscious mind we're going to be in a low state okay so we have to be able to control the emotions okay and just know to surrender to whatever way life taken us and just know there's a lesson to be learned and everything is going to work out in divine timing and once we do the necessary work and it can be challenging because some individuals some zodiac signs have those transformational times and if you a high priest or a shaman a light worker 11 11 on the clock it's like God is not going to play with those individuals. The ancient ancestors is not going to play 21 on the clock. It's like you have to go through this tough initiation. Like hit the dirt, get dragged and everything. <laughs> and you down there like, wow. It's the reason why this happening. But I ain't giving up. I'm still pulling on the trees and I'm holding on, but I'm getting dragged, but I'm not giving up. I'm still persevering through the challenging moments and it's going to get better. So we got to reprogram that conscious mind and reprogram that subconscious mind. And if we in that transformational time and that bad situation, we still have to make the best out of it and just say everything is happening for a reason. I'm staying in the non-resistant mindset, 1212. I'm going with the flow. I'm staying in the present moment. And I'm sitting back and I'm taking a journal down. And I'm writing down the lessons that need to be learned from this experience. And if I continue on doing the same old pattern... The same lessons is going to repeat themselves to me, okay? The same experiences, should I say, is going to repeatedly come back to me. 333 was just on the clock. So, I just want to be able to learn from the experiences, the lessons that I need to learn. And I just want to stay in a positive state of mind and let that death to an old way usher its way out and to bring in great things inspirational things 13 13 that's going to help me to build my empire it's going to help me to tap into my creative abilities it's going to help me to embody self-love and unconditional love and operate out of the harmonizing field of love and once i align everything perfectly and i do the necessary work then it's time for me to receive my good karma. So from the energy that I'm getting, it's time for you to receive your karma. You did everything that you needed to do, okay? You've been through the challenging moments, the tough initiations, and the experiences because we all have those stories and those lessons that need to be learned. I love you all. That's all for the energy of the death card and also the ace of pentacles. I love you, and I'm sending you all positive energy and high vibes. 1400 was this on the clock. I love you, and I'll be back with more. Peace and love.